Hey guys, so we are in New York. I walked around like a bit of a crazy person most of yesterday and today I had my hair um, curled at the hairdresser and I pinned it all up so I haven't really vlogged up till now. I didn't vlog like travelling or anything because I looked like a bit of a maniac. But we're at the front of the Palace Hotel. This tree is here. Look at it. Christmas in New York is just like the best time to be in the city and I'm so excited to be here. So Lauren and I are here for a week and I'm going to try and show you all of the best Christmas decorations. And the hotel's a pretty good start. There's just like loads of people that clearly are not staying here that have just come for the, the tree but it is always renowned as being one of the best trees. And they've got this beautiful garland over the archway. I'll try and show you it later tonight when it's maybe a little bit quieter. No, it's but not. But for now, it's to be Lauren has ordered, oh, I know Lauren's here. Thank you, um, oh. She's ordered some stuff to pick up for her dad. So we're gonna go pick that up. And then we are doing a very cool New York-y thing. We are going to a sample sale. Um, no idea what's gonna be there. It's a J. Crew one. It's been on for a couple of days now before we arrived. So it's probably like the absolute dregs of what is left. But we're gonna go do it and I'll take you along with me and then we're gonna to go to Times Square. You don't want to plan too much for your first day just in case anything's delayed or whatever. So I never make massive plans for the first day, but sample sale couldn't turn that one down. We have managed to get about two minutes down the road and I've now seen another tree. Wait and I'll go in and show you. This is at 437 Madison, which is just basically the block next to the plaza eh, to the palace. It doesn't look as good on camera. But it's very, very pretty. This is New York. I'm so excited to be back here. We're coming down towards Grand Central. We are going to the Bath and Body Works, which is at 44th and Lexington. But everything's so pretty. Here we go. I can't buy anything, but Lonnie is going to do me proud. Hey guys, so it is a good bit later than when we last spoke this lighting. It's not hugely flattering. Um, we are in Olive Garden. We went to the sample sale, which was really, really busy. We didn't expect there was a queue outside to get in. It was moving, but like we thought like it's just after 6 o'clock on Friday night, like who is at the sample sale? Apparently everyone. Um, but we both got purchases, so I'll be doing the whole video, and Lauren is going to share her purchases, not right now. Not right. Well, you can right now if you want. <laughs> no, but you know, no. it's, it's up to you. You can you can feel free to show just now. All right, okay. Okay, okay so. So, I bought a stripy t-shirt, which is exactly the last thing that I really needed. But I feel get so much weight out of that. You can never go wrong with a stripy t-shirt. Everyone loves a stripy t-shirt. Um, again, something you can never go wrong with. Just plain black flats. But they're real leather. They are real leather, they're from J. Crew. And yeah. Both the shoes and the top cost me $45 yep. all in for both of them, so I think we got pretty good deal. I think we did okay. We arrived and there was prices up on the wall and um, then there was an extra 30% off for some random reason. We just went with it, we were like, cool. Um, so after that we then went along to, what's it called? Best Friend, um, which is like an Asian beauty store. We bought lots of sheet masks. Do you want to show people what sheet masks you bought? <laughs> no. Um, no, she can't bother going through that because there was a lot. And we got a lot of sheet masks. And then after that, we went on to Bath and Body Works and I didn't get anything, but Lauren got a couple of things that she'll maybe show you back at the hotel if she's um, feeling fueled enough to do that after our food. So we are in Olive Garden. And this salad has just arrived, which we didn't, want. we didn't want a salad. It said nowhere in the menu that our mains came with you could get soup or a salad with them. So we were like, is eh, salad? Because I was and I was expecting a kind of somewhat lean side salad. salad. No, this this thing arrived. You want this? I don't want it. It's taking up a lot of space. I just want my melted mozzarella. <laughs> I don't want the healthy thing. I just want my deep fried cheese. That's what I'm here for. Um, I'm very excited to be in Olive Garden though. I had my political evening quite late and just yeah, absolutely loved Girls in the Playboy Mansion and it was supposedly like Holly's favourite restaurant and I always really wanted to go. Um, 
which is not why I'm so pleased to be here. I'm just pleased to be here because it's like a chain restaurant and you know exactly what you're getting. And also there's unlimited refills on Diet Coke. So I'm quite happy right now. I feel like this has been the longest day ever though. Like I can't believe this morning we were at Glasgow Airport and we've done Glasgow to Heathrow, Heathrow to here. It's now quarter past two in the morning our time but I feel like actually this morning was like three days ago. I just feel like it's been the longest day. But we're in the Times Square Olive Garden and it's it's dark outside but because it's Times Square it literally just looks like all the light just looks like there's daylight outside. It's very very bizarre but I will show you our food, my deep fried mozzarella when it comes. It came and I am very excited for this. Our main course has arrived, we have both gone for the cheese ravioli. We are doing the quickest run ever into Sephora just to see a couple of things quickly and then we're going home to bed because we are exhausted. Okay, so I thought I'd be able to show you this a little bit better tonight but it's still really busy. This is it from across the road so you can see like that's the garland over the top and the big tree and it's very very pretty. Never looks as good on camera. So sorry for the unclassing lighting. Um, it is our first full day um, in New York and we've come to a little place called Tree Hoss. There's no E at the end, so I'm presuming it's called Tree Hoss for breakfast, which is like literally it's on 51st Street, just along from our hotel. And this is my breakfast. So you come in, basically they've got like a buffet thing out, you get a box, you fill your box, and then you weigh it and you pay by the weight. Um, so I got like half a slice of French toast, um, but it's like really thick French toast, so half a slice definitely would do. Um, some strawberries, because you know, being healthy obviously. And then these are like little potato things that I thought I would try. And then I got a strawberry next quick, which I usually get in Florida, so I feel like this is quite a Florida breakfast. And then for more Florida vibes, I got a Rice crispy treat. Really, really big one, so I probably won't eat that just now, but I just couldn't resist it when I saw it. And Lauren got a bagel with cream cheese. And I've seen a amount of cream cheese. <laughs> and coffee, I take it? Yes. Yes. How much was yours? I think I was like 13 all in, but I got a yogurt and a smoothie yeah. as well. So. Oh, fair enough. Um, and like mine they weighed by the pound at the weekend it is more expensive and it's Saturday but mine was still like $15 all in including this and the milk so it's really I think really quite reasonably priced as well and it's really cute downstairs upstairs is not so much but it seems to become they've got like a ramen menu up there so I think during the day the upstairs becomes this place but in the mornings you can come up here and sit with your breakfast that's the place where we were so I don't know if it's tree house or tree horse or they've just got a funny spelling, but it was very, very nice. Guys, look, it's my fave. Lovely Jamie. Oh, Number two Sephora of the trip. We're in Sephora and they're playing the Disney Sephora, Ed, not Sephora, the Disney Christmas parade music. I'm very happy about that. I had like a Florida breakfast now get Disney parade music. It's like the ultimate holiday city, like New York at Christmas is the best. We're downtown now and we just stumbled across this little park. It's got a cute tree in the middle. I feel like it would be nicer at night but this is very very cute. Heading into Bookmark for cheap rubbish that we can call Mark Jacobs. And we've come into Fair Burger. So Lauren has got Sweet potato fries, which look very nice. And then this is the wild rice and bean burger, is it? Something like that. Something like that. But it looks very, very nice. Um, and I have got a vanilla milkshake because um, I make sensible life choices. So we were going to go here. Notice it's on this side of the street. See this across the road? That is the queue for the shop on this side of the street. No, I'm not joking. Genuinely. Yeah. Needless to say, we're not wasting our time waiting in that queue. It's a Saturday, so it might be worse than normal, but that might be standard. So we were actually supposed to be going to buy Chloe for lunch. That also was not queued across the street, but there was a big queue and there was no tables. So we went to Bear Burger 
um, and we're very happy with our choices. My vanilla milkshake was excellent. A little bit of a downer that we're not getting our cookie dough, <laughs> but not enough of a downer that I'm like, I'm prepared to wait and that's you to undown it. Holiday. We're starting off today in Sarabeth. This is Lauren's French toast. It's amazing. This is what I opted for. Why did I decide this was the morning to be healthy? Yeah, I think Lauren went to this round of food ordering. We're just waiting to cross the road. Look at Ralph Lauren. How beautiful is it? I don't even know if you can really see. And then the other one in the corner there. And they're both looking very, very festive and lovely. Look at how gorgeous it is. Look at the front of the stone over there. Let's get the trees up above. We have stopped off for a little break into a frozen yogurt shop. And this is cake batter flavoured, low carb, no sugar, non fat frozen yogurt. So Christ knows what chemicals are in there. Diet Coke. And then Lauren got oh the vanilla one with sprinkles as well. So yeah, this is probably terrible for you, but it's very low calories. Baking company for breakfast. I've got the fried chicken and waffles. Lauren has got banana pancakes that smell amazing and a biscuit. I'm very excited about this. We are in Brooklyn right now, so yeah, I think what I'll do is maybe end this vlog here because I think what I'm going to do is do like I knew I wasn't going to daily vlog because I knew we weren't going to do enough vloggable stuff in a day to do a daily vlog. So I think I'll end part one of the vlog here. We're starting today, well we started today at the Clinton Street Baking Company which I showed you. Um, I feel like it's been very food heavy, it's just been a couple of busy days. Oh, we went to the outlets yesterday, balance here, I've got a picture of Lauren with like a lot of our bags. I would say all, but we'd actually started condensing them into each other at that point so this isn't even all our bags. It's hilarious. But yeah, so I'm going to end part one of the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in part two which starts.